Today we will be studying several ways to accelerate the gas after it's ionized, for example, by this Tesla coil with this wire here. What we've done here, we've taken two ignition coils and we've put a red lead and a black lead on either side of former Jacob's ladder and then we're going to put two neo-magnets above and below in various polarities and we're going to see if the Jacob's ladder is pushed to the left or to the right by Lorentz forces. The current's going horizontally between the black and red wires and if there's a Lorentz force from the magnet it'll either push it left or right. Now we see it's shooting out to the left. When we flip the magnets the other way, now we see the Jacob's ladder is going to the right. Tesla core radiation is ionizing the argon gas going between these two magnets in a 40 kV kV junction. You can see Lorentz forces are clearly pushing the gas to the right opposite the flow of the gas. Finally, when we flip the magnets once again, argon gas coming in ionized between 240 kV DC leads, the magnets are flipped in opposite direction. Now you can see the Jacob ladder is going way out to the left. As a control, with no magnet there at all, let's see what happens. Just the DC leads, 40 kilovolt. It sort of sits in the middle. That's just the flow of the gas pushing a little. But does it go to the left or to the right? Once again, with two permanent magnets above and below, this orientation forces the Jacob ladder to the right. While the opposite orientation of magnets forces the Jacob ladder way out to the left. This is called magneto plasma dynamics. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now if we double the field strength and put two permanent magnets above and below, we can again see a very strong motion of plasma to the right, opposite the flow of the gas. Lorentz forces are pushing it left to right. When we turn two magnets in the opposite orientation, you can see the gas is being shot strongly from right to left. This is called magneto plasma dynamics. Summary, to see clearly the effects of magneto plasma dynamics, we need not only two ignition coils to create 40 kilovolt of DC power going between two leads, and we need two permanent magnets to create a Lorentz force to the left or the right when current goes between the two leads. But we also need pre-ionization of the argon gas from this Tesla coil to create enough ions to see the effect clearly. Let's do this demonstration one more time just for fun. Argon gas is being ionized here by the Tesla coil. I have two ignition leads providing 40 kV between the red and black wires. I put two per permanent magnets above and below. Turn on the DC power and you can see the red forces are clearly pushing the ions from right to left, opposite the flow of the gas. Now we flip the two magnets to change the polarity of the magnetic field. And you can see the red forces are clearly pushing the gas from right to left, down the length of the tube. Very, very cool, isn't it?
I love this kind of experiment. That's magneto plasma dynamics in a laboratory scale. Thank you very much. Keep hard work to the stars.